Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of our DIY camper van conversion. Now that we have our kitchen all built, it's time to tackle the plumbing. So we're going to be installing the sink, we're going to be installing the faucet, uh, the water pump, the fresh water tanks, the gray water tanks, as well as all the plumbing and piping uh, between all those. It's, it's beautiful. I'll just double check, make sure it fits. We've placed all our water tanks under the sink here just to have an idea of how much space we have and where we're going to put our water pump. So this is the tube that comes out into the faucet. So we need to attach him to this side of the pump. It's the one that has a little arrow here. And we're using the same pump that we used in the minivan. It's a C-flow with a rate of 1.2 gallons per minute. So we're thinking of putting our pump here. It seems to have the most space around here. So now it's just a matter of attaching our out water and our in water tubes. So the wire is coming out of the pump. Uh, we want to connect two things before we connect it directly to the battery. The first is going to be a kill switch on off in case you spring a leak. You don't want you know water to flood your van so you just click that off and it will turn off the, the pump. The other thing is we connected a 10 amp fuse and that's of course just to protect the pump from any surges of uh, electricity or anything like that. So we're just going to run a test on our whole system uh, using a little bit of water here. Uh, just to see if there are any uh, leaks and to see if uh, all the electrical works. Alright. There is a leak because it's... Dead. 
It's kind of going down a little bit here. So the water is no longer slowly dropping down here, uh, which means these now are fully sealed. There's no gaps that are letting in any air. So uh, I think that was our only leakage, and everything else looks good. So this is the drainage tube that we plan to use under the sink. It's normally for like uh, pool tubes or something like that. But uh, we like the flexibility and it fits perfectly onto our drain. The only thing we have to do is add some sealant in here to make sure that uh, the water doesn't come back up. And then we'll attach it underneath our sink. We've put some sealant between our drain and our tube. Uh, we let it cure for uh, at least a day. And now we're going to test our whole system to hopefully see uh, that there's no leaks. And we're going to be using uh, this container as our gray water container. We cut this little hole here, so we just shove the other end of this into there. And now the loop that it makes uh, basically acts as a P-trap. So let's turn on our pump, uh, we'll run some water through the system, and then uh, we'll see if there's any leaks. So our water filled up the tubes and it's now draining into our gray water tank, which is good. And it doesn't look like we have any leaks in our system, so I think everything works well. The two big containers that you see in the back and the smaller one on the left are all going to be fresh water. We're not going to connect them together in any way. When one of them empties, we'll just pull the tube out and put it into the next one. Uh, we're only going to have uh, one small gray water tank. That's the one in the front and the right here. We figured we'd rather empty gray water out more frequently than have to fill up fresh water more frequently. So that's why we chose uh, this configuration. And then the last thing we'll probably do is just to add a, a strap somewhere just to strap them all uh, down and together so they don't shift around and wobble uh, when we're driving. But we won't be showing that in this episode. Thanks everyone for watching that episode. The plumbing was uh, pretty simple and straightforward. We already have experience doing it in, the, in our minivan, so it wasn't uh, too much of a challenge for us. So thanks again everyone for watching. Uh, take care and we'll see you next time.